These are the actual footprint images from this 7280R that we have here. This 35 PSI is the max pressure that you can run in these tires. So today we're gonna show you why you shouldn't be running just the max that's on this tire. Here we have your footprint at 28 PSI. Now, as we decrease, you're gonna see this longer footprint extend. Here we are at 20 PSI, 12 PSI, and all the way down to six PSI. Now you can see the difference between your max inflation pressure and your lowest inflation pressure. This is why you don't wanna run the max PSI that's located on the side of your tire. You wanna set your tire air pressure to the minimum that you can run with the working conditions that you're doing. As you can see here, we have two very different air pressures. We have our road air pressure and we have our field air pressure. Now the way to get the best of both worlds here is to run a central tire inflation system, which allows you to run your max air pressure while you're on the road and your minimum safe air pressure while you're in the field. The benefits of doing this is less wear and tear on your tires, fuel savings, and less compaction, which boosts yield. If you have questions about a central tire inflation system, reach out to one of the experts at NTS Tire Supply.